<laughs> get a divorce and that get then remarry so you can have uh, a proper wedding and get uh, gifts and that sort of thing and cash in on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we need some new cutlery and glasses, so let's get married again. <laughs> See how many times you can do that before your friends catch on. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is that once I put the GoPro on and I did the first run in our yard, I just went to the top and I stopped and then, all right, I need to go back and change an angle. And then where's the battery on the GoPro? Because you put the battery in and there's like um, a latch that you put on. I forgot to put that one on. So <laughs> somewhere in our gravel driveway, there is a GoPro battery. I, I have been up and down looking for it. And every time I drive past, uh, I just where is it but no it, it's lost forever luckily i had a spare <laughs> and even with a full charge after three to four minutes it's completely dead so i mean it's i can't really remember when gopro 3 came out but it, it's it's probably over 10 years old at least so i've been I really need I was just about to say, I really need to look underneath that uh, overturned fire pit outside and see how that lithium battery is doing out there now. <laughs> it's still <laughs> laying yeah, there. It's still there, still yeah. simmering away. <laughs> it's been about three weeks now, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now yeah, that's, that's one way to do it. <laughs> but that is, yeah. of course... For some videos, it, it's nice to have an action camera, and I've also seen the ones that they now use on the 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 three sixty videos, uh, which you also put on a stick, and it automatically just don't film the stick itself. Oh yeah. So, like, should I do an upgrade? Because I I think at best this GoPro did. 1080p and switching from 4k to 1080 it really shows in the video so <laughs> yeah you just have to uh, slap on some dash cam thingy and make it even blurrier or something like that so it's yeah it's, it's gonna be like a, a vhs recorder yeah, exactly. frame around like uh, old cam <laughs> yeah <laughs> crap cam you I'm just going to do what I normally do. Yeah, you should definitely buy a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I found this on thing on TeamU for a dollar. It's like, it says, it says 4K. <laughs> hey, actually, I've got a 4K camera, I'll sell you. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Bring it over. <laughs> that, that, hand, that hand luggage of yours is getting pretty big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the bagpipes. It's like I've got a giant dead spider in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bagpipe and tea and a strum stick and uh, yeah, sleigh bells. Camera. <laughs> when you were talking about that proxy thing in the main episode, and it record, you can do it on edit on a low resolution, but then upgrade it to the four K. I'm just. It made me wonder if I'd been doing that on the. Uh, Cheap camera. <laughs> yeah, but now you broke it. <laughs> no, no, it's, still, oh, it's, it's, just, uh, in the, it's yeah. just in the drawer. Yeah. You, you talked about spray painting it gold and uh, make it into <laughs> yeah. a, a price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first one of us to get to 10,000 sub gets it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. going to be. Then a, I'm not. <laughs> it's going to be an old camera. <laughs> Till it takes one video, KJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so far, it's not one of mine. <laughs> and I've got 69 in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, started a pirate radio uh, uh, podcast on Patreon. I don't think you're supposed to talk about that, are you? No, but, I mean, it's a pirate thing to not do as you're told. So, I mean, <laughs> I pirated her pirate... Uh, broadcast rather quickly so <laughs> I mean that was an, I, I, an idea we had 
before, wasn't it? We talked about it at least, I think. That I it's... think I've all, I've all talked about a pirate radio station before. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't Spotify have have that as an option to make an exclusive radio show on Spotify with the Spotify music? I mean, that should be possible, shouldn't it? And then they would get the really exclusive, but that because that podcast couldn't be aired anywhere else. KJ's just made his fortune. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, why I'm, don't they have something like that? I'm just I mean, impressed that f- is listening to this podcast. I mean, stealing our <laughs> ideas. It's the it's the best form of flattering, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. I'm disliking Spotify more and more, and they also done some even more recent changes where they are dropping smaller and smaller labels uh, to just push the bigger ones. So you're not getting any new music; you're just getting all the big old ones that you already know. Um, and I really want the the random button. I mean, Spotify have a very large catalog of music podcasts and everything. And I was just a random function on all their catalog. No algorithm, anything, just a a random number picker. So you press on that and it just picks a random file in its catalog and play it. I mean, then you could probably discover some obscure content. That would be brilliant. But the problem there is that there's so much uploaded, AI generated, someone just made 10,000 tracks and uploaded so if you go total random then there's a big chance that you just get ambient song number 5321 <laughs> <laughs> so that might not work now i mean it would it would have worked a couple of years ago but now it feels like yeah the the someone has flooded the market rather severely <laughs> yeah I saw this. Did we discuss this in the last episode? I mean, if we did, it's still a good story. But there is, of course, Mariah Carey is now uh, checking her bank account uh, because uh, the next couple of months uh, she has a peak in her income like every year. But there was also this guy that just... He made a random assortment of Halloween noises and like background scary music and so on. And he just uploaded that to Spotify and it's like, yeah, he's just doing whatever he does all year. And then for like one and a half month uh, before Halloween, he has a peak, like a couple of hundred thousand dollars in income because uh, people are having Halloween parties and they need some uh, scary background music and uh, haunted house sounds. (laughs) And that's his niche. Oh. Previously discussed on episode fifty-three. Exactly. <laughs> How can you keep track of that? Because <laughs> it was John Mason's episode, and we had John Mason oh, on okay. after oh, we yeah, did yeah. the year celebration. You can in no way claim that you don't remember stuff in the future. Because <laughs> you have, no. no, you remember stuff too well. But, yeah, but then, but of got... course, we have to add on that. So then, what has not been taken? Then, then it's Easter. But I mean, you can't really just have bunnies going at it as the only sound. You need anything more. <laughs> but what is the Easter soundscape, so to speak? Chicks. Some, something with eggs. Yeah, but eggs doesn't... smashed against a wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I That's mean, at, at some point, someone said, I mean, it's Christmas. We need Christmas carols. And then some dimwit just came in the door of, in a recording session uh, Ooh, i got to stick with bells on that's and then that, that just stuck it doesn't it sleigh bells is only used for christmas i mean no one has done easter yet it's a blank canvas so we just have to start painting that canvas i mean why limit it to easter you've got all the national days in our respective countries and then you have all like oh it's glass of water day and stuff like that don't you just random stuff like that you can make noises for all of these things as well yeah but that's singular days i mean uh, easter is is still an event that goes on for uh, a small yeah. week and which people prepare for and uh, make decorations and whatnot so 
we should focus on that first. Yeah, well, Jesus Christ suffering on the cross, or uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if we lend stuff from Halloween, the creepy, gory part, but we yeah. add the catchy tunes from Christmas, then you have Easter. So we just have to. <laughs> Is that what Easter is? A hybridization between Christmas and Halloween. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, make, I thought it was just a celebration uh, <laughs> that the chicks are start laying eggs again. <laughs> oh, it's a Google episode. No, no, no. <laughs> Sounds like it. Make an Easter song about the Halloween horror in the style of Christmas music. <laughs> Generate. Yeah, well, while you're talking to AI, uh, <laughs> I mean, talking about musicians and that sort of thing, it, it was something I, I thought about a couple of days ago that um, actually uh, from the bad audio uh, episode where we talk about full-time making, that sort of thing, that being a full-time maker that's kind of like when you think about it like being a full-time musician or a writer or something like that and there are vastly few of those who actually could make a living from their craft i looked yeah. up some numbers and in the uk 19 percent of writers said that writing was their primary income uh, and one number i find was that 2.5% could make a living from the writing alone and for musical artists I think the number was 11% but then there are some some of them are not re really living the full life because they're they can't really uh, their income isn't that big yeah. so I think maybe those are numbers to look at for for makers as well I mean just because you love what you do doesn't mean that you can get paid for it. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there so, is a reason why they say starving artist. And I mean, you could yes. uh, very much. That apply to us as well. <laughs> yeah, you could very much be a starving maker. The, the problem is, at least for some of us, uh, once you have a, a family and obligation, it, it's really hard to live that uh, starving artist lifestyle, like uh, yeah. from hand to mouth and day to day. I mean, yeah. And when you're comfortable as well. And feel like I, I want a nice life. I want the heating on, and I want food in my fridge. Um, yeah. Maybe I want to buy a cool tool, or a pedal tractor. Exactly. Nothing. Nothing forces the hand like having to do something, though, does it? <laughs> true. True. Yeah, but well, then again, that that stacks your priorities uh, uh, towards actually just making it or like making buy or whatever it's called but i mean today i'm doing project because that would be fun but yeah. i mean if i was gonna like my family uh, having food on the table depends on this um, yeah i think you'd have to start out making and selling what you make for a starter wouldn't you I mean, it, it would be a hard sell for the wife, I think, that, uh, all right, uh, we are now going to live on your income and I'm going to support with my part. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to head down and uh, convert a toy tractor into a petrol-powered monstrosity that might kill me. Sounds like <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel that if I, if, I, if I were a painter, I would much rather just spend a few hours a week painting precisely what I wanted than to spend all of my time trying to paint stuff that people wanted that I wouldn't want to paint or uh, or trying to discern what people might eventually like and hopefully eventually I'll sell something and maybe I get to eat this week <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't live like that the, the only people who can do that, uh, they are painting houses. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, other other artists that yes. break through, they, they, they paint the stuff that they want to paint because, they, yeah, you can't paint for someone. And uh, 
you unless can't you paint on commission. Uh, forgeries. I mean, if I, if I were yeah, a good enough painter, then you do forgeries. <laughs> there, there is where the money is. So I, I would I'm bet good on that. For that. <laughs> Forgery making, is that a thing? I mean, Glenn Blacktail, Blacktail Studios and who oh, are <laughs> grind hard plumbing. Isn't, is that what you've been do, <laughs> doing the lot? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. do two forgery. <laughs> how just you know you know on the rare occasion you have a full day in the workshop. How do you feel after that day? I find it quite exhausting actually because I I think more when I'm in the workshop than I do when I'm at work. Well, it's no, I feel sad <laughs> and it's a bit anticlimactic because once I have an entire day in the workshop the amount of shit that I get done and it's like all right I got more done in a day that I will do in a fortnight just like half an hour here and half an hour there and then there's a couple of days I can't get anything done so like when you're left to your own devices no one is in your way or you don't have to do anything you can just go in and just make and all right well that is the glue is setting then I'll work on that and yeah so I think yeah having that possibility then it would also be easier to have several larger projects running in parallel yeah when everything is going when i have a day like that and everything has gone according to plan more or less then it feels awesome but sometimes it's just a shit show and nothing works out as it should and then i i feel more like depressed <laughs> if it's if i had an, a, an entire day of failures then that's a lot of failing Compared to just going to the workshop for an hour and failing, that's just that's an hour worth of failing, not an entire days of failing. <laughs> so it's it's really it feels like uh, uh, what's that uh, bipolar disease that either you're on top of the moon or you're down in the dirt, <laughs> nothing in between. Yeah. So then the question is, what's going to be the feeling on Saturday at two o'clock? Are we going to be on top of the moon or are we just, uh, where's the nearest pub? We'll need to go and hide. <laughs> <laughs> I think the feeling after we've done it is going to be pretty good. The feeling up to and doing it is not going to be that great for me, I'll be honest. <laughs> But I think after that it's going to be great, and then uh, Sunday is going to be great because there's no commitments. That's just a fun day, and then Monday is going to be absolute shite. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that, that is going to, to be Monday. a very blue Monday. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I mostly think that our time slot is going to with with past really really fast. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden it's done and didn't get half the things out. Looking forward to it, but I'm gonna be nervous beforehand because I always am. But when when I'm on the stage, it will be fine for me. Yeah, once it's like the the two seconds before you go onto stage, then it's like, fuck it, this is happening, and I mean, whatever happens, happens. So that then it's easy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be That's... some nerves, but I mean, uh, there is plenty of time to drink alcohol in the. <laughs> in the morning before going on so I think that there are remedies oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think that's a great idea and if I say it's not a great idea it probably is <laughs> oh god that's like the, my only nightmare in this scenario you two being drunk on stage we have to deal with that must be being, drunk in, the, must be being drunk in the pub and you have to go on stage on your own <laughs> That's better than having a drunken <laughs> stage, actually. <laughs> because then I can riff on my own accord and just pull people out of the audience. That would be better, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to brilliant, it. yeah. I'm looking forward to the event as well. Uh, that is, when this is uh, published in the in the past, so hopefully, uh, it was a good a good event. I mean, it was a good event last year. So hopefully, it's at least as good as last year. I, th yeah, I, think, I, I, think I hope it's better than last year. 
<laughs> yeah. I hope that as well. But, I mean, yeah, last year just... you had massive FOMO, didn't you? Oh, I certainly did, yeah. yeah. Just a rainy October day. <laughs> <laughs> Sending like uh, messages with the sad uh, piano music in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good Instagram day. Yeah. I just... Uh, I just sending messages to Michelle under the table. Uh, should I be worried? Do you, do you know where Glenn is? Just <laughs> <laughs> have you hidden all the knives? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think she booked make a central hotel for me that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look what I got you. Oh. <laughs> that back to the lineup. It's. It's really good, and of course, we're going to meet up a lot of people that are making their way to uh, the venue. Um, but there, is, there is also people that had stands there last year that I, I've got to know in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good combination of, of looking at things uh, and seeing shows or whatever, and then just going around talking to people about the stuff they're making, basically, so... Yeah. I saw today that Spider Man's going to be there. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, <Ben. laughs> that's exciting, Crap. isn't it? Yeah, I, I didn't know he was real. Cool. I didn't know he was a maker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he's portrayed like it's, that. It's, it's, in it's the, mainly in macrame, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lots of musical people there, apparently. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, that's one of the. He's uh, he's from my part of the country. He's um, Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the people who were making like uh, guitar effects pedals, they they were there last oh, year yeah. and they're going back uh, here yeah. and they're like, all right, we're gonna meet up and um, they actually had um. A session this weekend but i really wanted to attend but i couldn't but like uh you could build your own guitar pedal uh so mm, but cool. I, i'm guessing they're gonna have seances like that later but uh <laughs> i was thinking should i bring my guitar pedal and just plop it down on the table because we've only met online so i haven't spoken to him should just just in the crowd just make my way through and just plump it before him i'm like I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're absolutely sure. That's the only, only time you're going to be able to do it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Make first impressions last. Well, but then again, uh, I, I don't want to bring too much stuff. Um, I got a question. Are you going to bring some things? I'm not Something sure yet. I, I, got a, I got a question from uh, Rasmus. All right, so... Uh, you're bringing the tractor, right? And uh, I just said, <laughs> um, I'll think about it. And then he replied, you spelled the S wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'm, I mean, you could carry the padlock like a hand, handbag. Yeah. I mean, I could. I don't have the time. I should have a massive chain, but of course I could park the tractor outside yeah. <laughs> and then lock it in place to the bicycle stand with the huge padlock, uh, just as a statement piece. But uh, I mean, it would be cool to uh, to bring it maybe next year and then drive around. But I mean, I need to put some uh, Loctite here and there and make sure it doesn't disintegrate on itself. So, uh, yeah. But I think next year, um, I have been talking to a lot of people, and they uh, this year they are several people on one stand because if you're alone, you're really stuck there. So the idea that we had also for the podcasts for Maker Central, if we could just team together and then just propose, we, we want a larger stand area, but together with people that you know so that if, if you need to go away for lunch for an hour or to the loo because you had some dodgy sushi the night before then someone else is there and can like all right yeah this is the, this guy's stuff and he makes this and that so yeah may, maybe next year i'll find some makers and put some stuff out but 
the whole podcast thing seemed a much better idea when there were more co- more podcasts out there. <laughs> dropped, <laughs> dropped a few since that idea. Yeah, why yeah, is what's, there? A what's death going on there? Podcast, maker podcast. Why? What's happened? <laughs> There's us bad audio and three northern makers, isn't there now in Europe? Is there else? <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it feels like there's a, a an epidemic going, and we just missed it <laughs> because we're stupid or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but the question is, then, should we have those people on? Like, why, why, why did you? Why did the podcast die? Basically, just uh, how can like how, how can we ad- avoid it? <laughs> yeah, <sighs> there's a risk of being dragged down by association. I think. Yeah, but I mean, at some point we're gonna record our last episode. It's just a question of when, isn't it? So and why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and why? <laughs> And who knows? We might have a severe accident in Oslo, so this is the last episode. I mean, I mean, I mean, we should uh, we should not go Leonard Skinner, so we should travel <laughs> independently, which we yeah. do. Exactly. We do that, yeah, so yeah. 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 That'd be a freak accident for all three of us to go at the same time. <laughs> yeah. all, all three vehicles collide <laughs> together. Yeah. Well, some guy brought the wooden gun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully this isn't the last, and and hopefully uh, some people follow uh, Glenn's standard instructions that you should start a podcast because I feel we need more maker podcasts uh, to fill the space. Because I mean, it's only natural that some stop, but it feels like a lot of them has stopped at the same time. So it's a void. Someone please fill it. Yeah. Go on, yeah. give us some more content to listen to at work. Maybe, or, <laughs> or should we? Could we? Should we start another one? Just com- <laughs> completely different. Just go way off. Just pick a topic we know nothing about. And all right, we're making a podcast about uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's flower in the days. <laughs> Back in the early days, we did talk about a YouTube channel on accountancy. I think so. Maybe we should just do the podcast. <laughs> the that three accountants, like yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's that still good. a fucking good name, that is. The three accountants are <laughs> just like, <laughs> giving out advice. On <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think that was episode six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old Are you a living days. Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> I just made that one up. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm considering that you just make everything up because I can't fact check you. Fact, fact check you. Oh. I mean, that's. But that's what we do. I mean, isn't that uh, the definition of the maker? I mean, you're just to make making stuff up. Stuff yeah. up yeah. Yeah. True, true that. But it should be at least plausible or reasonable, I think. Th- those are two vastly different things. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. There's been some interesting conversation on the WhatsApp group this week, don't you think? I don't want to go into the details, but we've we've seen some pretty interesting stuff from some of the listeners and uh, yeah. a few sneak previews from Havar as well. Oh, it's been great fun this week. Yeah, so if any listener wants to be added to this special WhatsApp, listener WhatsApp group, just make yourself known that you're a listener and tell us that you want to be added. It's not exactly. easy. Yeah, we're, we're we're not we're not picky. We're not. I mean, as long as you're not a bad person, we won't kick you out either. Yeah, none, none of them kicked me out yet. <laughs> no, no, none of us are bouncers. So <laughs> come on in, have a party. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really nice actually. Uh, the, the WhatsApp group turned out like I hoped it would. Uh, but I, I feared it would be. I thought it was going to be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, e- either that it would be just a, a, a desert with nothing on it, or just spam, more or less. Yeah. But this is it's turned, it's turned out, out just really as good. I hope uh, yeah. a nice little community. That it's, sometimes it does, nothing happens, and sometimes you get a lot of messages with 
updates of what people are doing or just uh, random uh, stuff that's relevant and yeah it's... i was thinking sometime in the near future we probably want to have a a nice uh, friday night beer or something with the listeners what do you reckon that might be a nice thing to do yeah yeah that'd be nice yeah just figure out when friday night is for the americans as well <laughs> we have to settle on uh <laughs> yeah I mean, no. Someone is gonna be like, I'm. Uh, I'm feeling bad for the Aussies in in this. Uh, I think uh, the time yeah. difference. I mean, uh, a Friday night here, they are either gonna be like uh, at the breakfast table or hungover <laughs> from <laughs> yeah. morning beer on Saturday. Is that an Australian thing? Might be. <laughs> yeah, I actually did a uh, sat down with a. Uh, with the timelines to to see where when I should publish videos based on when my audience is awake. What what's the best window to to publish for me? If I should get yeah all, all the markets so to say yeah. Or realize that some somewhere in the afternoon probably for for me would would probably be the best way to publish because uh, considering how the latest videos have gone. In the morning is not a good <laughs> good place to do it, at least. I don't feel like Havars are a good one either, because you do yours about midnight, don't you? Yeah, I I, I understand, and I uh, have that. You're aiming for the American of, audience. Available, yeah. but I can't be bothered. I mean, I do the edit, and then I, all right, I I compile the video. And then I work on the thumbnail, and then when the video is done, I do a quality check that I haven't fucked up anything while I'm on the, well then working on the thumbnail. And once it's done, it's like I don't want to sit on it. Like, all right, upload and off you go, and go to bed. And then uh, <laughs> yeah. it sits there for eight hours before anybody sees it. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and then I, you wake up. Oh, it's been an entire night. Nothing has happened because everyone else has been asleep as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Trying to mitigate that, but yeah, I don't know. The views are not what they should be either way. So. The likes aren't what they should be either. This week I've done a couple of shorts and they have got likes, but I've had no Australian likes this week. Gutted. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad. You usually get but one, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> but generally, I feel like people are not liking videos enough. Uh, or commenting for that uh, either, I would say. Uh, I'm, I'm divided because I agree, but... I mean, there there is hope for the new generations because the the kids over at uh, TikTok they are they are still heavily into liking stuff, but it, it's fun posting the same reel on, of course, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and then on TikTok, and of course there there are vastly different demographics and something could be really popular on one of them but tank on the other and vice versa yeah. but i mean on average i think it's my shorts are doing better over at tiktok but i mean it, it doesn't bleed over to any of the others so you just have to push your content out in several channels it's annoying but i mean yeah. it's where well, we are i guess not that i care about um, facebook one iota but I've noticed that, that that seems to have changed over the past few months. I used to do really, really well on Facebook. Used to get loads of views. And now that has really, really gone down. Like I said, I, I don't care. It makes no difference on Facebook to me. But uh, I just thought it was weird. Hmm. Yeah, I... Think Maybe I... that generation is just dying out now because it's so old. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's. Are you saying that it's just a podcast dying? It's our, our viewers as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, just 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 the Facebook group. Well, Facebook, that's all. That's a general <laughs> thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that that's the. Oh, 
I, I, I was pissed here the other day when, uh, of course, our oldest in, is now in school and then uh, there were some discussions about how do we coordinate stuff and before anyone could say anything like, oh, well, let's make a Facebook group. Uh, so I'm like, no, I mean, there are <laughs> so much better things in Facebook, but I mean, we're we're not old. Choose something else. I could not say that, of course, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, you didn't dare say that you know but uh i think i think it was last week i posted something on instagram and i got a message that all right this was not posted on facebook and then it's usually because my facebook app hasn't been logged on to in a while so you just have to click on it and then i see there is a lot of notifications and uh, you haven't been active in a while have you tried doing this and uh, they really want you to be more active but it's like it it looks messy i i remember back in 2007 8 when we got it i mean it it was simple it, you had a good overview but of course it's been a a data harvesting factory for Facebook or Meta or whatever they're called today. And of course, all the commercial aspects are pouring into it. And then of course you have the business version, you have the creator versions or, or whatnot with all the functionality. So, I mean, it's, you go in there and you, you get kind of overwhelmed. And I think the, the user interface is really crappy. I mean, it's, they should really take a step back and, and rethink some of it if they want to stay relevant. But I think once you have died in that segment, it's, it's really hard to get back into being relevant. Once people have migrated to something else, they're not coming back. Yeah. Little change of subject. That's my gonna... birthday tomorrow. Is it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My YouTube birthday. I'm two years old tomorrow. Oh, nice! <laughs> All right, I'll buy you a beer on Friday. Uh, oh, cheers! Celebrate, yeah. <laughs> two years. That's uh, time flies. I mean, oh, I know. First, uh, first you have a newborn, and uh, uh, suddenly yeah. they are a <laughs> bloody nuisance. Little <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> toddler Glem. Yeah. <laughs> Making a ruckus. Getting an attitude. <laughs> Pulling at his penis constantly. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely image you paint. <laughs> Is that what we I'm should a, I'm a starving artist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, new listeners. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah, been I'm fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for at least trying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you all for listening. I hope hope you come back uh, next week uh, for another edition of this wonderful Maker Podcast. The live podcast. Yeah, yep, yeah, 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 in a week. But I mean, that's the half point. That's the oh, the perhaps the uh, after hours in the hotel room half pint. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, half yeah. pint when we're full of pints, perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, maybe it's going to like be a it. half pint with the CMOs present in the room. I mean, the possibilities. That sounds starting to sound weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we just fall asleep and forget about it and do it a regular style who knows who knows <laughs> most, most likely <laughs> ah, that, very that, good I, I mean, I'm just looking forward to going to bed at a reasonable time and actually being able to have consecutive hours of sleep during the night so yeah <laughs> I'm not going to be the one that's who that's something you look late. forward to yeah <laughs> I mean, once they once they close the doors at what is it, eighteen hundred hours or something? I'm like, all right, see you guys off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! It's the after hours, the fun time. 
I know you didn't do it in in uh, Maker Central, but now we have to. It's mandatory. Space law. <laughs> <long>. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, guys. See you Friday. See you Friday. Yes. But we will. Bye. 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 Bye.